Are you having a problem with Sureforce bailiffs? If so, we can Hi there, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Adam Wills and I'm a director with Action Credit Management with the company behind ebailiffadvice.co.uk. The purpose of this video really is to help people just like you who are experiencing problems with bailiffs. Chances are if you're watching this, you've probably had a bailiff call around to your home or alternatively contact you by letter or post saying that they're going to be coming around to your house in order to uh, take your possessions to pay or settle a debt. Now, I understand that when you receive correspondence from a bailiff or if a bailiff has indeed come to your home, it can often leave you feeling very intimidated, very isolated, overwhelmed, frightened, um, not really knowing where to turn. Well, the purpose of this video is just, as I said, to kind of put your mind at ease and make you aware of your options. Straight off the bat, you're no longer alone. Thousands of people like you have been helped by Action Credit Management and ebailiffadvice.co.uk. There's three golden rules that I'm going to outline to you that if you follow will make it very hard for a bailiff to take action against you. The first, although they may intimidate you and uh, leave you feeling very frightened, do not be bullied. Do not succumb to their threats. If they say they're going to break in or this, that and the other, you know, chances are they're not. They're just uh, employing these tactics to frighten you, so you'll do what they want you to do. In the first instance, it may be stating the obvious, but do not let them into your home. Make sure that all doors and windows are locked, because if there's an unlocked window, they can climb in through it, or if the door is unlocked, they can just walk in. So make sure windows are closed and front and back doors are locked. Secondly, do not let them into your house via peaceable means. So if they ask to come into your property for whatever reason, do not give them access. If you give them access once, on the second visit they can force entry should you deny them access uh, and take your goods. So as I said, do not let them in. The third and final point is do not sign any paperwork that they give you. They will again employ lots of different tactics in order to get a piece of paper signed. Do not sign it. Legally, you don't have to. Don't let them sway you. Don't sign any paperwork. So in doing those three things, it makes it very hard for a bailiff to take action against you. However, the problem won't go away. They'll still attend your property as there is a debt that needs to be repaid. This is where Action Credit Management and ebailiffadvice.co.uk can help. We offer free debt advice regarding bailiffs and bailiff action, and we can act as an intermediary between you and your local authority if you owe them for council tax arrears, or any other creditor um, and we can come up with an affordable repayment plan for you that uh, can kind of start to clear the debt and get the bailiff off your back. We can stop bailiff action usually within a couple of hours uh, and uh, yeah it's uh, it's proved time and time again to uh, be an effective way of dealing with your bailiff problem. So I strongly suggest that you uh, either contact us now uh, via the website or alternatively, give us a call on 01209 808 450. We've got a dedicated team of caseworkers who are waiting to take your call, and it'd be great to hear from you. And uh, as I said, all advice is free, and uh, yeah, we're waiting to take your call, so look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.